it's a, the, the biggest part is, is an inconvenience. It's holiday crunch time. Oh, yes, yeah. we're getting into it too. Yeah. And over a weekend, this kind of slows things down mm -hmm. and snarls things up a it little does. bit. So prepare now. That's the theme. All right, let's take a look at how your forecast is shaping up. We're going to start with the alerts uh, as we see them. Notice that the winter weather uh, watches and warnings are under a small kind of compact area. North Carolina, especially the western part of it, underneath the winter storm warning, meaning that conditions that are going to be very wintry are pretty much imminent over the next day and a half or so. We're still in a watch mode across the triad, but significant winter weather is expected everywhere. We're going to show you totals toward the end here, but keep in mind you might not get exactly what you expect, but it's enough to be impactful going forward. This is a very complicated storm and it starts out with cold air. We have a ton of cold air and temperatures in the teens to the north. That's going to be sliding across the northern plains and kind of usher in more of a north wind, keeping the cold air coming kind of guarantees that we're going to see a significant amount of wintry weather considering how wet the storm is. Temperatures uh, in the 30s across the area now will warm into the 40s today, but we don't get really all that warm going forward. In fact, we've got upper 20s from Martinsville, Danville, Reedsville, 28 in Lexington, and even some uh, near freezing temperatures in the foothills and the mountains. We're battling a few clouds anyway. We're going to call it partly to mostly sunny today, but again, there'll be some kind of high clouds coming in from time to time today that might even make it look a little bit overcast. There is rain on approach. Now, this isn't starting soon. This is going to stay just to our south and west, I think, for the majority of today. We'll start to see the wetter weather moving in a bit later on tonight. Excuse me, the energy that's going to help develop this storm is still not yet in position. It is over parts of Southern California and will start to move our way soon. So you see mainly clouds to the south. Again, we'll see some of these clouds drifting to the north, at least initially. Temperatures in the 40s today, 30s tonight. Notice the heavy clouds rolling in on Saturday. We have wet weather that will be on approach coming in from the south. And with an afternoon projected start to this, we could see just rain for a while before this transitions more to a wintry mix. And that's going to happen more west than it will in the triad. Eventually, this storm gets a northward push and it starts to overspread the area. We might not see good snows until sometime early Sunday morning. I think this begins overnight. Now, the snowiest day of part of the forecast is going to be on Sunday. But the big key to this, especially in our southern communities, is where this rain snow line sets up. I think a Initially, this is a snow to the north, rain in the south with a very narrow and kind of insignificant band of kind of a wintry mix initially. But as the storm evolves, you notice how that band widens a bit and it starts to, to press to the north. This brings more of a wintry mix changeover, mostly for our southern counties. This is the model that's most aggressive in bringing that warm nose to the north and bringing more of a wintry changeover. Others are keeping us all in the snow. So there's still quite a bit of forecasting left to do with this storm, especially with the later half of the storm and how it begins to wind down. Today, we're looking at mainly sunny or partly cloudy conditions. High of around 47 degrees this afternoon, cooling down to the 30s tonight. 46 for the foothills with a northwest wind at 5. And for the mountains, 30s most of the day with a high of around 42 degrees this afternoon. Track is very important as the storm develops. A low will develop along the coast. Uh, depending on where this goes will really dictate who sees what. The least likely part of this is going to be um, across our southernmost communities where it has more of a northerly track. I think that would bring more of a rainy scenario in. We're not really going with this. I think it's a combination of this track, which is a little bit farther south and flatter and bringing more of a wintry mix to our southern communities. The best snow track would be a more southerly track to this, but we're going to be on the northern fringe of this. And some of the models have us too far south, which would keep our northern counties out of the best snowfall. This is the European model. It's kind of scary looking. You may have noticed it brings the entire area in 12 to 18 inch total. So we're not going with that. We think it's too much considering we think there's a wintry mix component to this. The American model is now tracking farther south and look what it does to our northernmost areas. It kind of shuts down some of that storm. So we're going for something in the middle, which will put a significant amount of snow with double digits 
of snow totals possible over the area for the Trident Northern Piedmont from a window that's late Sunday into early Monday. For the mountains, we're expecting double digit totals, mostly if not all snow, but if we get mixed to, to work its way in, it would certainly cut down significantly on that high snow total and make it more like what we're expecting over the south. So here are our projected totals as of now, 8 to 12 inches in our general band over the triad. Foot totals are possible in the west and then lesser totals down to the south.